This is one of the arched entryways to the Colosseum. Just to give you a perspective on how enormous this thing is. Wow, that's high. Notice the holes in the stone of where the bronze connecting bars were dug out long after the fall of Rome to be used as weapons by the barbarians who took over the city and all of Italy and all of Western Europe. They weren't too keen on aesthetics. This is a cross section. Look at that brickwork. That is a skateboarder's dream and a mother's nightmare. This view of the Colosseum is a lot closer to what it really looked like. What you saw previously was pretty much the guts, the shell that was left behind after all the marble had been quarried out of it. It is massive, it is impressive, gargantuan. You could just open up the dictionary and look for adjectives and pretty much all of them are gonna fit. It was an incredible achievement in its day. And even as a ruin, people from all over the world come to look and to marvel. Wow. Even the pavement and some of the stones are still here in front to preserve its original appearance as much as you can. Each one of the marble arches has a number above it. This particular one is 31. And all of them are numbered. Part of the Roman efficiency. Still though, you get quite a neck strain when you try to see the very top of this thing. One more shot of the original facade of the Colosseum. Just because it's so damn impressive. It's just enormous. I think it held 50,000 people, but could be emptied in 15 minutes or so. That's how efficient it was.